Hey there, and thank you so much for joining the Varix Athletics online coaching program. Our goal is to make sure that you have everything that you need to hit the ground running. But before we get on the training floor, we just want to make sure that we go over some of the features in our app to make sure that you get the most bang for your buck in your sessions. Now we've partnered with Train Heroic, which we believe is the most comprehensive strength and conditioning program on the market. So as we get into our first few sessions, there are a few things that I just want to point out and make sure that you're aware of in case you need to get a hold of us, uh, how to log our workouts, how to monitor results and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to hop on to the Train Heroic app right now. I'm just going to look at my account. So when you first get onto the app, you're probably going to see your calendar pop up right away. That's the thing that typically will, will uh, jump out first. So as I can see, I have a training day for the Barracks High Rocks program. So we're going to be able to see the whole workout at a glance. So we'll have our conditioning piece, our cool down. We'll also have our warm up, all that kind of stuff. So when you're ready to start a session, you're just going to go start session. This is actually Friday's workout. So I'm going to move it today. Now it's going to ask you five questions right off the bat. So how did you sleep last night? I slept pretty well. What's my new, my mood right now? I'm good. Energy. I got lots of energy right now. Stress, not a whole lot. And then soreness. I'm a little sore from yesterday's session. So I'm going to get out on the floor. So these are subjective markers. Everybody's going to be a little bit different. Some people are just naturally going to be in the fours. Some people will naturally be in the threes. That's okay. It doesn't matter. What we're looking for is trends. So if you're normally a 4.2 in your readiness score, and maybe today you're a two, that's probably a good indication that you need to ease off train just a little bit. We want to keep you safe and healthy, and you're probably not going to be performing to your best if we're not quite ready for it. So that's the first section. Now we're going to move into our warm up. So typically our coaches are going to program your warm ups for you. Um, if you want to sub some things in, if you need some extra drills in there, by all means, go ahead. So when I look at my warm up here, I'm going to see some, uh, some videos at the bottom here. I'm just going to click on that. So for this warm up, I have a T spine extension on the bench just to open up the upper back before we press. So I'm going to do that. Okay. If you don't know exactly what an exercise is, there will be videos on there for each exercise. If you're still having tr troubles, by all means, that's where the coaches come in, send us a message and we'll get you sorted as quickly as we can. So once I'm complete my warm up, I'm going to mark it as complete. Any comments that I need to add, I can, I can put it at the bottom there. So I'm going to scroll over to the left there. My first, my li main lift is actually pull-ups today. You're going to have some instructions. So it says I need to rest a minute and a half between sets. And then it'll also give me target rep ranges, how many they want me in the, how many reps they want in the tank, and then just some general comments on it. So if you see RIR one, that means they want, my coach wants one rep in reserve. So essentially that's when I'm going to hit technical failure. So I, can't perform the lift with proper form anymore. So that's uh, what one in one of the tank means. So let's say I do all three of my sets and say, yeah, I did them all. Let's say my last set, I only got eight. It happens. I'm going to mark it as eight and then log it. Okay. Now, if you see multiple exercises on one screen, it means it's a superset, tricep, giant set, whatever. Um, so in this case, I have T-spine extension on the foam roller. It wants me to do those together. So I'm going to do one set of pull-ups. I'm going to do a set of T-spine extension, wait a minute and a half, and then I'm going to do that three times. Okay. So let's say I did that. I'm going to move on. This is my next block here. So I have dumbbell bench press. I want to hit 10 to 12 here with two to three in the tank here after a warm up set and then single arm rows. Okay. So let's say, I did 65 pounds for my working sets. I'm gonna hit those. And then let's say I did 90 for my rows, okay? Now, if we had different numbers each round, so let's say I got 10 pounds every, every single round with the rows. Let's say I did 90, then I did 100, then I did 110. Maybe this one, I only hit 11 reps. That's a okay. 
Cool down protocols. I know none of us like to do cool downs, but it's very important. So try and get them in. Again, if you need help with the videos, you're just gonna click that button and all my videos are gonna show, show up there. Now, as I get to the end of my workout, anything I have to add, I can always put in under here where it says add exercise. I'm gonna say I'm done my training. Let's say we're gonna rank one to 10, how hard is my workout? Considering this is week one of this block, you know, it should be probably like a six out of 10. And then duration. Let's say it took me 55 minutes. Okay. Any coaches' comments? So if you need to get a hold of us as a coach in terms of a reflection, how the session went, you're going to put that in this box. Now, if you want to share that with the rest of the team, so uh, this, this program that I'm on right now is part of a bigger subscription. There's many people on it. If you want to have a comment that's going to go to everybody, you're just going to put it, you're going to hit that button right there. Okay. So from there, I'm going to finish my session and that's a workout. Okay. So that's the workout piece. Now let's get into uh, any history. If you need to look up certain lifts that you've done in the past, it will say on the workout itself. Like if I did uh, three sets of 65 on my bench press last week, it's going to say that when I come into this week. So I know exactly what I need to to move on and to add five pounds if that's necessary. Uh, chat, so if you are part of a program, you will be able to chat directly with your coach. You'll also be able to, to chat with the team around. So this middle button here, that's where you're gonna go there. Our me section. So we're gonna be able to see certain training stats. You're gonna see if volume goes up long-term. You're gonna be able to see certain trends if you have a pro subscription is not necessary. Uh, you don't have to pay for um, the pro subscription. If you don't want to, you can just stick with a regular one. That's totally okay. Um, and then up here in this little top right hand corner, we're going to take a peek at that. Now, I'll let you play around with a lot of this stuff. You can do whatever you want. You can change it so the screen is always light or you can change it to a dark screen, whatever you want. Um, if you need to change any notification signals, so if you don't want to hear 50 messages from uh, from your subscription team, you know, you can turn those off here. You can also turn on certain things as well. Okay. If you need to change anything in terms of your profile, you're more than welcome to do that. You just go right there. And that is that. So hopefully this gives you a better understanding of the app. You're going to have to play around with it a little bit just to get used to it. It takes some time, but if you have any questions whatsoever, that's what our coaching team is here for. Okay, so ask us if you need anything at all. We've got your back. Again, welcome to the program. We're excited to get going.